All right, it is time for another mailbag. Oh, a mailbox. Got a package here, so let's see what's in it. I'm pretty sure I know what's in it, but let's open this up and see what we got. And it's at this point I really wish I'd have brought some bigger scissors with me. You know. There. Okay, well, it looks like it's packaged well. Ooh. There's a lot more in here than I thought. So I'll we'll have to take a look at these in a, few, in a little while. There's some bits and bobs. Let's just get those out the way. Um, don't know what that is, but looks interesting. Wow. Let's have a look through some of those. Uh, don't know what's in there. Something. Help with us holding them in the camera. Something by JVC. I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of camera or something. Um, No, no idea what that is at all. Bits and pieces. It's like Christmas. We'll have to open these in a little while. Um, don't know what that is. This. Oh, what's in here, so. Let's get on to the main bit right here. This is the interesting part. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Well, I know what's inside. You don't, unless you read the title of the video. So... Let's get some of this tape off. I tell you, it was excruciating waiting for mum to go down to the post office and pick this up because when I delivered it I was still in bed mum was out I thought she was here so they couldn't deliver it oh I think we still got some tape around this side should really be looking through the camera's viewfinder while I'm doing this so I can see if it's in the shot there we go now I know it's in the shot because I've turned the screen around. Yes. Isn't that a beaut? It is a Unity. Digital Storage Oscilloscope. Never heard of this brand before, but sure looks the business. So I'm going to put that on the table. We'll power that up in a minute and have a little play around with it. But before we get on to that, Let's have a look at what are in these little packages here. I really want to know what's in them. Actually, let's just bring them on to the camera one at a time. I've only got about two bars of battery left on my camera, so I've got to make this quick. Just trying to do this all in one shot. I think we've got some valves in here. Yep, so just about can make that out, so I'm not going to open the package because I don't really want to damage them. Look like little tiny valves. Uh, maybe if I just 
to nip the bottom off one of these and get them out. That's probably not the best direction to open it in because that's where all the pins are. I don't want to snap any of those off. Let's just take a little look and I'll put that <laughs> tiny little valve. Adorable little valves. Right, so what's in here? This is like Christmas. Um, not sure what this is. I think this is a single board scope. I'm shaking a bit here out of all the excitement. I think that's what this is. I'm not exactly sure. I'll power that up later and see what it does. Also, we've got some tapes in here. You know me, I'm an analog guy. I still like to use analog means for all my recording. Be it reel to reel or compact cassette. So I've got a couple of chrome tapes, good quality ones. 100 minutes, that's kind of a odd one. I've never seen a 100 minute tape before. I've seen 120s and 110s, but never 100. This one's got a little bit of weight to it, so there's probably something pretty interesting in here. Something blue. So this video is going to be a lot more, a lot longer than I originally planned and I'm going to have to plug my camera into the thing in a minute because I am almost out of batteries. This is a portable power bank apparently. Might even be able to charge my camera off that. Okay, I'm just going to pause the camera very briefly because the battery's almost dead, so I'll be back momentarily with the camera on the mains. Actually, let's see if this is charged up. I'm going to plug this into my camera, into the USB. Don't know if it's got any charge in it, but if my camera starts running off that, then we'll know. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, so... I probably does need to be charged up. So I'm just going to plug one of my USB chargers in so the camera can run off that. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. I'll give that a charge later. Alright, now this one looks a bit interesting. Looks like some kind of camera, so I'm going to see what's in there. breaking anything. Looks like some kind of security camera, actually. It's a colour video camera, so it's colour, so it's uh, not just an ordinary security camera. Looks like we have composite output, or composite depending on how you want to say it. We run on AC or DC, that's nice. Um, don't know if this is fixed focus or if that can. Things. So I think there's going to be quite a few videos on all this stuff. Um, got something in here, something little in here. So let's see what this is. It's a. It's a, I don't know actually, electrical parameter tester. So I'm not exactly sure what this does. Like I said, 
Gonna power these things up later and see what they do. I think this might be some kind of brushless motor driver, because I can see the word brushless on it, so I'm guessing that's what this does. I could be wrong, of course. I guess that's where the power goes in, and those go out to the motor. It's about well, let's see, there's about one, two, three, four, five, so there's about seven more packages to go. Actually, let's unbox this, because this looked rather interesting. I think this is a temp, you know, infrared thermometer. Pretty sure that's what this is. Yep, it says right there. Let's see if it's on. Alright, let's see how hot my tablet is, because this thing does get pretty hot. Just point the beam at it. Of course it would help if the if it was in shot. That's a lot cooler than I thought. That's only about 33. That'll come in useful for when the testing and the components are getting hot. among other things. And I have no idea what this is. A lot, Like a lot of these packages, I've got no idea what's in them. Something with an LCD screen on it, that's for sure. Oh, that's good. That's... That'll be useful. Component testers, so I can test transistors and things like that. I'll give that a try out later. Got some wires in here by the looks of things. Um, probably the cable for the scope. Oh, and some probes. That's really nice. Thank you. Of course, it would help if I was showing it in the camera. I forgot that the camera was still pointing over there and I was doing things over here. Okay, there's only four more, I think. Yep, four more things to do. Some kind of circuit board in here. Alright, point the camera down. Because I'm doing things all the way off there, because I keep forgetting, ow, I've just put myself on something. Yep, I keep forgetting, ow, I've just put myself on something. I keep forgetting to look through the camera to make sure that what I'm doing is in shot. And I... Okay, I have no idea what this is. Something Arduino based, but that's about all I can tell. That's going to be interesting experimenting with that. Got something a little bigger here. Looks like it's got a big old choke on it. So let's see what's let's see what this is. Oh, it's got transistors. I'm trying to open this very carefully so I don't cut through any wires or anything. Okay, that's not a choke, that's obviously a transformer, and this is some kind of, I'm guessing this is some kind of power supply. Controlled by a TL494 IC as well. I think I've got a replacement for this thing I... Where is it? This thing I built. I 
And as you saw, that table is getting very, very crowded. Okay, only two more packages to go now, so let's see what this one is. It looks like some... Well, I can see a second segment LCD in there, so let's... Oh, there's quite a few bits and bobs in here, actually. Um, got a valve! Actually, no, I think that's a little CR... Well, it is, it is a valve, really. It's a little CRT. Actually, that looks like the kind of CRT that you find in the camcorder. In the camcorder viewfinder. A little microphone. A, um... something. And a three-digit seven-segment LCD display. I mean, LED display. Just put those there. down to one side. So, last but not least, let's see what's in here. I've calmed down a little bit now. Um, it's a... It's a... I don't know, actually. No idea what this is. Some kind of display for something. Well, the bench is a bit of a mess now, but... Let's give the star of this video its first power-up in this room. And here we are, right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... At the moment I don't have a signal source, so... Well, I don't have one on me at the moment. I mean, I don't want don't have one handy on me, so... Let's see, this is channel one we're having a look at, so I'm going to do the probe comp thing here. Great. Let's see how channel two looks. So channel two is yellow, which is this one. It's not triggering off that one, but I know why it's doing that. Of course, I've got to figure out what all these buttons do now. Um, let me just put the thing onto channel 1 again, so, let's put that onto channel 1, turn channel 2 off. Just going to have a quick look through these. See what these do. I don't seem to do anything. I'm not going to turn up the probe. Oh, this is this is really nice. This is can see this getting a lot of use in the future in Cool Do Clem's electronic workshops, although they're gonna only only gonna be doing live stream videos of Cool Do Clem's electronic workshop, but you already know that because I've done a few of those. So I'm really happy with this. I mean like if you could measure how happy I am right now, on a scale of 1 to 10, it would be up like a million. And yeah, thanks a million for this and all of this.
Anyway, I think this video has got on long enough, so I'm going to go and edit this. Just do a very basic edit. Because I've got a lot of stuff to play with. Freeze! FBI!